Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how do you understand debits and credits. When you first start taking accounting and you're first learning this, it's so confusing and so you have to have a way to remember it. I've got a way for you to remember it. It's called the dealer method. Let's get started. There are five types of accounts, assets, liabilities, equity, revenues, and expenses. The first three are balance sheet accounts. They go on the balance sheet. You need to understand what the accounts are. Assets are something of value that we own. Liabilities are debts that we owe. Equity is what's left over. If you take the assets and you pay off all your debts, how much is left for the owner? And then you have revenues. Anytime you receive assets because you sold a product or service. Expenses, anytime you use up assets to run your business. So these two revenues expenses are on the income statement. We're gonna add another account here dividends. It's a equity account, but it reduces the balance of equity. So it's called a contra equity account. So let's look at a, a typical account. Here's how we uh, describe every account when we're visualizing, we're thinking through it. Every account really has two sides. It has a left side and it has a right side. We call in accounting, instead of like if you were on a ship, you would call it port and starboard. If you're in accounting, you call it debit and credit. That's all that means, left and right. About half the accounts take debits to increase and half the accounts take credits to increase. So you can't think, well, debits always means plus and, and so on. It does not always mean that. It depends on the account. So we use a system called double entry accounting where there has to be at least two accounts that are affected by every transaction. There has to be at least one debit has to be at least one credit and the debits and credits equal. The way you want to think about this is this is two sides of the same coin. Heads and tail is the same thing as debit and credit. Now, so we have a left side, we have a right side, and we just put numbers in. This takes the place of like negative numbers. We just add up the two columns. If we have all the debits and all the credits, we add up the two columns and then the very end we make a subtraction. If the debits are larger, then there'll be a debit balance here. If the credits are larger, there'll be a credit balance here. So you need to understand debits and credits means left and right, and we can use it like a verb. So here are the rules. We have dealer. What are the dealer accounts? Well, we've rearranged it a little bit. Dividends, expenses, and assets are the DEA part of dealer. And so, yeah, we have debits and credits. But here's the, the magic. For the DEA counts, for the dividends, expenses, and assets, it takes debits to increase that account. And if you credit that account, it goes down, it decreases. So the normal balance of all these accounts that are dividends, expenses, and assets are a debit balance. Now, so here's the, it's a kind of a two-step process. You have to say, okay, what account are we talking about? And if you're talking about cash, Cash is really the first asset generally. So cash is an asset, so all cash accounts follow the rules. To increase it, you debit it. To decrease it, you credit that. Now, some people try to think, why? Let's, what's the meaning of this? It's not really the meaning, it's just the system we use. We drive on the right side of the road in the United States. That's just the system we use. There's not over an overriding truth, capital T truth, that's, that's why we do it. If you go to London, they drive on the left side of the road. You just need to know the system. Here's the system, you need to memorize it. The other three accounts are the LER part of dealer, liabilities, equity, and revenues. They take credits to increase and debits decrease those accounts. All right, so you need to understand this system. Here's another way to think about it. Here's, here's a chart, so DEA, Dividends, expenses, and assets takes debits to increase. Obviously, the other side would be a decrease. And the normal balance are debits. LER, liabilities, equity, and revenue. You have credit to increase and normal credit balance. Now, why does this matter? Well, we, in accounting, we need to make journal entries. And journal entries are just a shorthand way to to record a transaction. So you might have a transaction that's a sentence, and I've misspelled something on the on from here. So you might have a sentence, but you can't just add up these sentences and, and have an easy way to 
figure out how well you're doing. Ultimately, we want to issue financial statements. We need to capture the transactions with journal entries. So here is a sample journal entry. And so you want to think in terms of columns. You've got a date column, you've got an account column, and then you have two columns for left column and right column that we call debit and credit. You always put the debit accounts first and then the number in the first column and then you indent. Do you see I've indented? And there's credit accounts and then the right column of the credit account. So let me show you an example and we'll think through the logic using our debit and credit rules using the dealer method. On May 15th, all right, so we're going to make an entry on May 15th. The business borrows money from the bank and signs a note for $25,000. Well, what have we done? We've borrowed cash, right? So cash is one of the accounts that's affected. And then a note, it's going to be a notes payable to the bank. We're making an entry for the business, not for the bank. And so what is our journal entry? What two accounts are affected? Cash and notes payable. Cash goes up or down for the business. Well, you're borrowing money. You've received money. So we're going to debit cash to show it goes up for the business. And the amount is 25000 So we have 25000 is our increase in cash. We're signaling that by putting in the first column, the debit column. Then I'm going to space over a little bit and call this notes payable. Notes payable is also 25,000. Remember the debits and credits have to equal. And so we have 25,000 is our increase in cash. So this is an asset that increases. And notes payable is what type of account? Notes payable is a liability that also increases. Because following our rules here, Assets increase with debits and liabilities increase with credits. So what we have is we have an increase in an asset and an increase in a liability. We're following the debit and credit rules. The way we remember those rules is using dealer. So make sure you understand this. To do journal entries, you're going to have to remember the debit and credit rules. So now you can do it. Good luck in accounting. Watch us for more videos and we'll see you on the next video.